good evening everyone. This is Chris Saraga for the 365. I'm at beautiful Lake Oroville at Stringtown Road, one of my favorite hangouts. I thought I would show you this area. It's absolutely gorgeous right now. It's a little bit windy up here and we've got some cloud cover on and off so the video might be a little funky looking, but we're doing it anyway. So here we go. Thought I'd back you out first. Get you up a little higher so you can see kind of where we're shooting from. Alright, so I that is where my car is at at the outcropping. Oops, sorry about that. At the outcropping, you can see where the water level has gone up and down over that area. Let me kind of turn you. relatively to the west of where we're at right now. I'm going to turn you away from that for a little while because that is directly into the sun. It doesn't make for the best images in the world that way. So we're going to turn you towards this way here. Which is the that I believe I believe is the North Fork of the Feather River and the bridge that goes over let me see what road is that I believe that's Forbes Town Road I believe Forbes Town Road goes over that bridge we're going to go towards that bridge we're not going to go all the way towards that all the way to that that although it doesn't look like it's very far away it is actually quite a distance away from where I'm at if we're really lucky we may we may end up getting some boaters in here. There's quite a few boaters around, actually. I'll fly back over a couple of them. I don't want to get too close to them. I don't want to bother their privacy. I mean, that's what people come up here for. So this is on the end of Stringtown Road. And that is actually just a little bitty road off of Olive Highway. Uh, I'm sorry, it goes off of Olive Highway, off Forbestown High, uh, Road, that people sometimes bring boats up for this area unlike most of the places in the lake is completely free so this is one of the few places you can go on the lake that doesn't cost you a thing we'll get you I'm gonna kind of get you towards this shore a little more just so we can so I can talk about it so what you guys are looking at there is the Oroville Lake at about 815 feet above sea level uh, the inflows right now are about 6,000 cubic feet a second. Outflows about 10,000 cubic feet a second. Uh, that outflow is going through the Hyatt Powerhouse, as it has been for the past few days. So there's not a lot changed for that. So here, let me kind of get you towards this island. So what you're looking at along that shoreline there, where the trees are is the high water mark. That's where that's the highest extent that the water goes and stays on Lake Oroville. So that high water mark, I'm this is guess, is about at I'd say 890 feet, maybe a little bit higher, because when it gets higher than that, it actually starts hitting the tree line. So during this during this winter, we were above that high water mark. Let's see how far we can get towards that bridge, because that is a pretty cool bridge. Let's get you up a little higher too. Level off at about 250 feet. It is very windy up here, so I'm hesitant to go too far away. I do have to recover the drone to get the footage back, right? So if you're watching this video, the drone has not fallen into Lake Orville, and I have re I have retrieved it. Yeah, there we go. So that's a pretty good shot. That's about as far away from my current location as I really want to get. So let's get you turned a little bit. Kind of pan you around. We might be flying back into the full force of the sun. I apologize for that. Do my best to kind of mitigate that for you guys. You can see it's just an absolutely beautiful day. There's some great clouds. I'm going to take some uh, some motion 
time lapses for you of the clouds above the mountains and stuff here. It's just, I mean, it's just to die for. You guys have to see this. So I'm going to bring us back towards where I'm at. I'm actually right there in the middle of that outcropping. So I'll be a few minutes while we fly back. I want to thank everybody who has been um, tell, basically telling me where to go, <laughs> uh, asking, uh, requesting where to fly. Uh, this was not on the request list. I had to, I had to go here instead of in town. It's like I said, it's very windy, but it's even more windy in town. So I had to, I had to make a judgment call on if I wanted to try to fly the drone safely up here or get that video for the people who asked for it. So tomorrow or the next day when the wind calms down, I'm going to get some more videos for all you guys of the areas you've requested. But keep the requests coming. It's great. By the way, I absolutely love reporting on the various places that I have been on this lake for all you guys. It's very nice to share all that. I see a boat there. Let's see if we can kind of capture it in there. We're still quite a ways out. Oh, so that is actually a perfect time. Bring it down a little bit. So I will actually show you. You can kind of see the boat there. And what he is doing is he's using the, what I'm going to call makeshift boat launch. In that area. Let's get away from this mountain. So, back us up a little bit. You can see him. There we go. So that is what I'm calling the makeshift boat lamp, boat launch. So this will accommodate maybe one boat. It's kind of muddy. I would absolutely recommend bringing a um, four-wheel drive if you're going to do this. Um, my car may be able to pull my jet skis out of there. It may not. So I would not recommend... Uh, bringing anything that isn't four-wheel drive up here to drop a boat off up here. But it is free up here, so you've kind of got a risk-reward there. So I'm going to fly us kind of over here. I got awful dark, awful fast. I'll brighten that up. I'm going to fly us off over here. Kind of towards that cove over there. I won't get too close, but there's some people who are houseboating over in that general area. There we go. This is an amazing thing. I always really like doing this. So some people, they'll bring their houseboats up here and they'll leave them on the lake. And then they'll um, tie them up to shore. And they'll camp overnight, and that is an amazing thing to do. Now we're losing some light. So make it a little brighter for you guys. Doesn't seem to be working. There we go. I'm not going to get too close to these guys, but you can see it's just a kind of an awesome experience to just uh, bring your boat out, tie up to the shore, and just barbecue, fish, and swim. It's just a wonderful. It's just, I mean, you can't do this everywhere in the world, and we're lucky enough to have this. And all this is brought to you by the same dam that we are, that we've had problems with. But I think that the natives in town, we actually know that this this dam is part of the lifeblood of this town. Look how nice that water is there. Aquamarine and gorgeous. I'm gonna kinda come back towards me now. We've been flying for a few minutes here. Bring it 
on back so you can see where I'm at. As I'm flying back, I just want to thank everybody for watching. As always, like, share, and subscribe. There'll be bonus video at the end of this end of this drone flight here. And I just want to say that I feel very lucky to A, be reporting this for all of you guys, and B, just happen to live in such a gorgeous area. Bring it on down. Slowly coming down and back. I'm going to lose some of the light here. I think that's okay. Ah, the sun feels good. Oh, that's another thing I wanted to mention as I'm flying back here. One of the nicest things about this area is Stringtown Road is a exhilarating drive. I'm not going to say it's the safest drive in the world. It's very twisty, very windy, but it is very, very cool. And one of the things I love is it always smells like earth whenever I drive down that area. So, really like that. You guys got to come up here and check it out. I will post the location. I'm going to overfly myself this time. Or I'm going to overfly that tree. Or I'm going to overfly some. So, as always, like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys all tomorrow. Bye-bye.